Is it really an either or or choice when it comes to improving the economy or helping natural resources? Conservation scientist Josh Goldstein asks the question a different way. What if we could get more electrical power by making a watershed healthier? I could see my feet standing on the bottom of a tributary of the Embe River in the Central African country of Gabon. That was how clear the water was. But just a short distance to my right, the main channel of the river was excessively thick with sediment. Just the day before, it was running clear as it normally does. We couldn't have asked for a better display than that chance encounter in the field provided for us. Gabon gets nearly half of its electricity from hydropower. And the facilities on the Embe River are a big part of that. What's more, Gabon is working to expand hydropower production to meet growing energy demand. This work is part of the country's larger effort to expand and diversify its economy through the use and the wise stewardship of its abundant and truly amazing natural resources. Those goals sounded exciting in concept and also a bit ambitious as I stepped outside the airport in Gabon's capital city of Libreville two days before. The nighttime darkness was a stark contrast to the bright lights shining inside. While a backup power supply provided uh, light to the airport, the city itself was experiencing a power outage. It's a periodic occurrence that's part of the rhythm of life in Libreville. One reason for this is that the hydropower facilities on the Embe River work as close as possible to full time, yet face challenges in doing so. Hydropower depends on a well-functioning reservoir. In recent years, there have been more and more challenges that have made that difficult for the Embe River facilities. Low water levels in the dry season, sediment filling up the reservoir and reducing storage capacity, and that makes the challenges in the dry season even worse. The Embe watershed has rugged terrain, highly erodible soils, and intense rainfall events. Now you add on top of that pockets of loss of forest cover and unsustainable practices in logging, mining, and road maintenance all upstream of the hydropower facilities, and it's collectively becoming a real problem for power production and for the natural system. But what if we could make more electricity by making the watershed, the land that drains into the river, healthier? Now, the night before we stood in that tributary in the river, we had one of those really intense rainstorms in the watershed. And the, uh, the rain beat heavily on the tin roof above us as we all tried our best to sleep that night. And it produced just an amazing chorus of sound. The day before, the river, the main channel, was running clear. After the storm, we woke to see that main channel looking quite brown and muddied. And yet there still was that rogue tributary. Why was it still running clear when the main channel had become so muddied? Let's call it a tale of two watersheds. The tributary was surrounded by dense, relatively undisturbed vegetation. There weren't any road erosion scars or other features that exposed the soil. Yet on the other hand, the main channel of the river, it was surrounded by large road erosion scars and other features that exposed the soil and then the rainfall came and really mobilized that in the form of mud into the river. That contrast, between the tributary and the main channel, that's the power of a healthy watershed. Intact vegetation and forests, they matter a lot. They help support incredible nature in the Embe watershed. Iconic forest elephants, globally important plants. And at the same time, they are critical to providing reliable and highly valued hydropower for Gabon's capital city. Muddied water doesn't make for good power production or a healthy river. Now, many people still see conservation of natural resources 
being at odds with economic development. They think you have to choose between the nice forest or jobs, food on the table, economic growth. But for the most part, they think you can't have both. The Embe watershed tells us that's a false choice. It's not either nature or the economy. It's about finding ways for both to be together. There are certainly trade-offs and tricky issues to overcome. But healthy forests and rivers, they are not a luxury, something that can be sacrificed in the name of economic growth and tended to at some later point down the road. Rather, they are essential ingredients for smart planning and policy. When you have a river like the Embe that runs both muddy and clear, you can tell that it's time to support a diverse and healthy environment if you want to achieve a diverse and healthy economy.